Hey everyone, Bobby here from Bicycling, and this is the new BMC Team Machine SLR 011. This is BMC's classic road bike, great for climbing, it's really light, and it's even a little bit aero. Aesthetically, not much has changed with this bike. The biggest change is BMC's ICS integrated carbon cockpit. Saves some weight over the previous two-piece system. It's a little bit more aero, and as you can see, the brake lines are running inside the handlebar and stem, down through the head tube. The tubes have also gotten a slight tweak. Most of that's borrowed from what BMC learned on the Time Machine Road. We've got truncated airfoils. The profiles are a little bit deeper more elongated, slightly more aerodynamic fork. We've got this arrow chine across the top to channel the airflow coming up across the fork. We also have aero core carbon water bottle cages, which we saw much more pronounced on the Time Machine Road, but that wasn't UCI legal. These cages still give the aerodynamic benefits, BMC claims, but is also UCI friendly. Heading backwards, SRAM Red Axis 12 speed. We've got DT Swiss carbon hoops, tubeless ready. 25 millimeter Vittoria Corsa Graphene 2.0 tires. The bike can accept tires up to 30 millimeters wide. The SLR 011 uses a new carbon material. The intention there is to make the bike more efficient, more resistant to side to side flex when you're pedaling, when you're out of the saddle. BMC also claims that this bike is a little bit lighter. At just under 16 pounds, it's pretty stinking light. So let's take it for a ride and see how these claims hold up. Honestly, this bike isn't too terribly different from the previous version of the Team Machine. There's subtle improvements with aerodynamics, but BMC didn't mess with a good thing. They just tweaked it a little bit to make it a little lighter, a little stiffer, and a little more aero. It doesn't have the kind of sharp, edgy steering that you'd look for from an American crit racing bike. It feels best in the mountains. It feels super going up the climbs. It really comes into its own on high speed descents, but that fits. As a Swiss bike, that's where its home is. Downhill at high speed, you don't even feel the speed that much. It's really smooth, it just kind of glides over choppy pavement. Leaning into high speed switchbacks and sweeping turns, it feels super. That's not to say that you can't race a crit on it. Steering is amazingly precise, so you'd be well served there. It's not the fastest bike. BMC doesn't make any bold claims, but part of BMC is the cachet of the brand, the aesthetics, the bold, blocky look. It really has everything that you need just in one single racing road bike. So this bike is really, I'm not going to say a jack of all trades, but if those purpose-built road bikes don't really appeal to you, this is a great option. This is a dedicated racing bike, but you don't need to be a racer to enjoy it. If you do like that edgier feel, if you do like that aggressive position on the bike, this Team Machine SLR 01 will serve you well. So what do you think about the Team Machine SLR 011? Tell us in the comments, subscribe for more videos, and look me up on Strava for an inside look about where and how I'm testing these bikes.